Hi, Dr. Mindy Curry here. I'm doing a follow-up video on cottonwood tips. It's uh, mid-March. We're in the middle of the coronavirus. Figured it was a good time to get that medicine off the trees because it's perfect right now. You can see this lovely tree behind me is in full beautiful cottonwood tip buds. They're sticky. It's time to make some cottonwood tincture. And that's great for lung conditions, especially dry, hot coughs where you got a lot of deep congestion that you want to get up, loosen any kind of deep lung gunk. Um, it's a good expectorant. Also very antimicrobial, and maybe even antiviral, let's hope. There they are. Look at those tips. Beautiful tips. Big fat tips on this gorgeous cottonwood tree. You can smell it in the air, the sweet, sweet scent of the cottonwood resin. Look at that. You want to get them just before they pop open when they're nice and juicy, oily. Okay, back in the kitchen, I've got my couple jars of fresh cottonwood chips that I just picked off the trees. Um, it's March, mid-March, good time for it. And so basically what you want to do to make a cottonwood tincture, which is great for any kind of lung condition, um, sore throats even, also just a good way to keep it preserved for quite a while without uh, being these are fresh. They can go moldy if you try to dry them, so um, usually put them in oil or in a tincture. This time we're doing a tincture, so you want to use a high alcohol content. I've got some Everclear here, and these are really easy to tincture. You just pour the alcohol in all the way up to the top and put the lid on it. You do want to make sure the rim is clean. These are very sticky. You don't want to basically glue your jar to your lid. So I'll take a little napkin on those, get it nice, but let that set at least about a month. Shake it if you can. You can leave it in much longer. It's not going to hurt it any. And eventually you'll strain that off and that'll be your cottonwood tip tincture. So now that I've shown you how to make some wonderful medicine, I want to remind you that it's very important to go see a doctor or a naturopath or at least an herbalist before starting any herbals for your conditions. For one thing, you may not really understand what your diagnosis is. You may think it's just a little bit of this and that that can be treated with some plants when it's really something serious and you're missing it and it could, could be fatal. Um, also, there are interactions between herbs and drugs, and there's also contraindications between some of the problems you may be having and the herbs you may think you need. <laughs> so don't start taking anything willy-nilly unless you're sure what's going on. And to be sure, come see a naturopath like me. I'm in Portland, Oregon. I do house calls in the greater Portland area, and I also have an office in Milwaukee.